Hello, everyone. My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Nine Episode Four. In the previous video, I thought things were going to be a little crazier, but they were pretty normal. Nothing too crazy happened like I was expecting because we approached Yoichi right before he was going to try out his fancy new ability of petrifying somebody. And Yoichi just waved the white flag. He's not going to do any evil doing. He's just going to fall on back. No idea what all that means or what he will be up to because it's hard to really understand somebody who was willing to test their ability out on somebody when it can quite literally kill them. I'm not saying he should go and test it out on like a rat or something like that, but it is hard to really picture what's going on inside of his mind, what the thought processes are, so therefore it's a little difficult to figure out, well, what is he going to be up to now? He says he's not going to do any evil doing. Who's to say, though? Can we fully trust our best friend? But that is not all that we need to be worrying about immediately because our next plan of action is to prevent the death of the a uh, user of the artifact with the cross that is going to try and burn down the entire school. So, no idea how we're going to go about that other than the plan that they're trying to set in motion with Kujo stealing the artifact, then breaking it, and then releasing her ability so that it goes back to him, so that once an ambrosia has been made, he will be cured of this curse. No idea if that's going to work out. I guess we'll have to see here. Afternoon homeroom ends. Once Miss Narase exits the, or exits the classroom, excuse me, or exits, the classroom becomes filled with the chatter of my classmates. If only I could read, you know, proper punctuation. Now then, or grammar, I guess. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Now then, time to do what I have to do so that tomorrow proceeds as normal too. No. Like, you're more than welcome to help out if you want to. Uh, are, aren't we like a day early on this shit? Out of nowhere, the fire alarm goes off. A shrill, blaring sound. Wait a second, what's going on here? Why is this happening now? Did we have our days wrong or something? No, that, that shouldn't be, because today, nothing would have gone wrong, and we would have gone to see the uh, petrified student. My phone vibrates. It's from Sora. Flustered, I tap the call button. Sora, what's going on? Oh, my God! I'm greeted by Sora's distressed shout. Damn it. So, class of the class was killed in the class. What's going on? He's a day early. Can you get out of here? No, no, no. I'm still dying. I'm still dying. Wait, now I'm going. I'm going to kill you. そのままにしておけ。分かった。よくわかんないけど、二人とも頑張って。いや、thanks、buddy。お前も来い。嘘でしょ。仕方ないな、もう。I Ah, episode one. Good times. The first floor is a literal sea of flames, but they shouldn't hurt us, right? However, there's neither heat nor smoke. They're illusory flames made by the artifact. Students and teachers alike stand around in confusion, looking at the unnatural side of the flames simply fluttering on the floor and walls. No, this is not like I told them. Oh, 
What could have changed? What what did we do that was so different with this character specifically? Nothing, right? How could our changes in this branch, which have been so external to this character, be causing changes with this whole situation? Stop him. Stop him. If things are already this bad, then... We have to kill him. Well, this sucks. I can't believe this. Now that it's this bad, I can't let Kujo use her powers. I can't let Kujo kill someone. If anyone's going to have to bear that sin, it's going to be me. We're not? I take a short breath. I thought I would be giving you an image exclusive to me this time around, but I don't have the time to adjust the image already burned into my brain. So the least I can do is give you the name you wanted. Huh? I guess she's not ghost no more. Leaving behind the bewildered uh, Yoichi and Kujo, Lena, formerly ghost, breaks into a dash. What a weird name to go for. She delivers a sharp roundhouse kick. The flames vanish as she mows them down. <laughs> All right. Since Lena is born from the same soul power as those flames, an attack from her can offset them. I follow after Lena as she moves on, waving away the flames. Yeah, I still can't afford to take it easy. She's managing to clear the flames, but Lena is taking damage. My stamina is starting to dwindle little by little. <laughs> Lena's fists pierce through the wall of flames. I can finally see him. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. There's the berserk user. He stands, spreading flames all over the place as he clutches his head and screams in a hoarse voice. <laughs> I don't know. We push through the pillar of flames that extends all the way to the ceiling, closing the distance. I kind of said that we would knock him out without thinking, but how? I don't have the technique to do that. Either way, I've got to do it. First, I'll hold him down and disable him, and then... Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, things just got a little more interesting here. Engulfed by the flames, Lena dis uh, dissipates. My consciousness is, or er, my consciousness also slips for a second, forcing me to a knee. I really felt that one. What's up with this force? Why is the situation so different? than what we've experienced in all the previous branches so far. This isn't right. This isn't right at all. He should only be able to singe my skin at best. Yet he wiped out my illusory body in one shot. Even if my actions are causing some sort of butterfly effect or whatever, it's way too suspicious that not only is this starting a day early, but he powered up as well. You know what? There is another person that we have to be very wary about, or another figure, and that is Iris. Since Iris is not making, you know, contact with Yoichi, Yoichi is not going down the route that he tends to go down in other branches, well, she's got to do other things, right? Iris is probably, you know, seeing that this guy is on the verge of self-destruct and is making matters worse for us. She's been watching us after all. 
Why are things so different? The answer is obvious now that, now that I do think about it. Who else would be able to notice the new branches being formed aside from Sophie and myself? Who else would be more and more delighted the worse the situation got? There's only one person. <laughs> I hear an unpleasant chuckle. An ominous plush doll steps out from behind the boy writhing in pain. It's not Sophie. It's her. It's her. He's... I had been thinking of how to lure her out. I was hoping to get at her as early as I could, but this is too early. That we are. Well, sure glad I was able to predict that one. Chaos, do my best. Quit toying with me, you monsters. The billowing flames slowly burn my entire body. What do I do? What should I do? I'm all out of options to save him. I don't have a way to kill him either. In that case, I'll have to restart. But where do I go back to? When did Iris come into contact with him? When would I be able to steal his artifacts safely? I just have to rely on trial and error until I find out. In this branch, I've lost. I mean... We could try to figure out who it is, steal the artifact. It may, you know, take a few attempts. Steal the artifact before we actually, you know, do what we did in the previous video and meet up with Yoichi and stop what he was planning so that we can take care of both of these birds with one big ass stone. Prevent the fire here, prevent Yoichi from becoming a murderer, and then we have to figure out how we're gonna face off against Iris. <laughs> Hey yo! Hey yo! There we go. Active. Okay. What is she going to do here? Punishment. The boy goes from violently yelling and thrashing to convulsing and falling to his knees. Oh, alright. I wouldn't be, you know, that, you know, sure of it, but okay. She closes her hand as if testing the sensation of something before opening it once more. Her eye, bearing her stigma, looks unwaveringly down at me. Yeah, she had to have done a mad-ass dash over you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I guess that also will explain it. A rift opens and a plushie appears. This one uh, seems to actually be Sophie. I mean, it worked in the previous branches. I mean, that's kind of what we did. I'd like to believe that there still is a way that we can save him. Yuki purses her lips tight. Her eyes shoot down for a split second too. Is she afraid of killing? Or is it a different emotion? A scummy thought runs through my head for a split second. I think to myself that I can probably use this situation to figure out what's weighing on Yuki's mind. That's so fucked up, damn it. 
そうすればあいつを救えるかも。Oh, yeah, I guess that also works. 本命を修正する。別に知り合いでも何でもないが、あいつを殺すって選択は取りたくない。散々あがいて、もう無理だって、そうするしかないって思えるまでは。わかった。私はあなたの判断に従う。それじゃ、走ってきてもらったところ悪いな。待って。Sophie floats her way over to me. I know, Ko. Jibun ni chikara ga kai te kite shinon de shu. Ah. Jibun no hono ni makarera. Hmm. Mada aru no ka. Anata. Kanari no rendo de gentai o atskai te ita wa ne. Yeah, somewhat. We've, we've had a few trial runs. Eh? Ah. Yoku wa kan nekido. Gentai te. Betsu ni hito no katachi de aru hitsio wa nai no yo. Huh? Anata nara. 私と同じように使えるはずだけど。Oh, right. Now I get it. I don't. Yuki. Wait, what would we use here? え今、金縛りにしてるだけだよな。そうね。そろそろ切れる。あいつの意識を立てるか。眠らせたりとか。できる。よし。俺が合図したらやってくれ。了解。ソフィー、ありがとな。なんとかなりそうだ。お礼は無事やり遂げてか。I put strength into my legs and stand up. <laughs> and I guess that guy does too. Nagika Surina Hayaku. Hato Jubio Hodo de Kiru. Yokai. Ixo! I run at him. I quickly close the gap between us. <laughs> oh man, this is for your own good. Whatever it is that we're gonna do to you. I dive into the wall of flames, lunging at the boy. I hold him down. Gotta picture it in my head. I'm not manifesting Lena. I'm manifesting something to protect us from the flames. I don't know, a fire extinguisher? I did it. A dome shaped barrier. This should do the trick. Just hold on, I'm going to. What is she doing? Save you right now. Punishment. The out of control boy's body starts to go limp. As he loses consciousness, he also loses control of his powers. Here it comes. The flames unleashed and the hallway strike, attempting to devour the boy. Okay, we also got to worry about ourselves here. Goodbye, fire. <laughs> the flames disappear. We actually pulled through. We did? I'm a little uncertain as to what even happened. I released the illusory barrier and touched the boy's neck. He has a pulse, and he's breathing. He's also not frothing at the mouth, he just passed out. I'm pretty sure we saved him. We managed to keep him alive. Kujo and Yoichi come running towards us. With the flames extinguished, the other students come out of the classroom. Sora practically tackles me into a hug, making me stagger backwards. I pat her on the head and remove the necklace artifact from the student. Kujo, Nen no tame kore. Toriyaz, sasa to kiyo. Yuki mo yuchi. Sensei ni. It's gonna be a mess if anybody catches her, you know, necessarily. So, ne. So, shimasho. So, did we save the day? I'm assuming we saved the day. After taking Sora to the station, we take ourselves to a diner. Yuki and I are both exhausted, and we probably should be going home to rest, but we still have matters to attend to. There are things I still need to tell everyone. I put my mouth to my straw and wet my whistle with some cola before continuing. She's not going to let us rest. Sophie answers in my stead. It seems that Sophie made herself acquainted with Yuki when I wasn't paying attention, 
but not Kujo and Yoichi, which explains their confusion. Wait, is Yoichi here? <laughs> Did he seriously tag along? But introducing Sophie can wait. ホンニンもそう言っていた。混沌を楽しむって。予定より yeah, it would be great if we could, you know, have everybody teamed up here, but everybody's got their own vendetta. And in her fight, or in our fight against Iris, it was Kosaka that really turned the tide. We really gotta have her with us. Damn, wow. With a grin on his face, Yuichi stands up from his seat. Well, he knows what he's gotta do. I still feel very, very bad for Yuichi in whatever situation he's got going on. And I do hope that we're properly able to address all that. Ah, okay, I see. Small stuff. Yuichi checks the prices on the menu, pulls out his wallet, and places his coins on the table. It's crazy that this was the guy behind the petrification incidents. Waving his hand, Yuichi exits the diner. Watching him walk out of the door, Yuki whispers as she sips on a cup of black tea. Yeah, you should see our sister next. I think for Yoichi, you know, him trying out his ability on an actual person, knowing that it could probably kill them, isn't right. His morals and ethics are definitely out of line, but that definitely got him involved in this shit, whether he wanted to be or not. He was a villain going forward. There's no way around it. He killed somebody. But it definitely wrapped him up in this shit, and there was just no way he could get out of it. He just pressed onward. Now he's got a bit of a choice, so I don't blame him either. I would prefer if he was with us, but... No, I get it. She is. Oh man, you should have seen how she was in episode one. It was a good level of bravery. ならば戦いましょう。うん、仲間をさっきの二人を加えれば全員揃うの。いや、more you know, the fact that she isn't even addressing Yoichi by his name, she probably doesn't even care what his name is, is very similar to how she's addressed us in all the previous games. 
Her eyes glance over to Sophie atop the table. Oh, okay. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, Lena. Yeah, but we also don't want to push ourselves because, well, we kind of saw how that turns into things. Not all the greatest of things. You really don't need to talk like that. Kujo is just too kind for her own good. She produces the stolen artifact from her pocket. So wait, he's not going to die even so the artifact has been stolen from him? Is, is that okay? I guess it's because we were able to protect him from the outburst of his ability, which was the main problem. Okay, I see. It's not self-destructive in a way, I guess, of like... Well, I guess a different form of self-destructive, kind of similar to Sora's ability where it was making her and Kakadu disappear. I don't know. I guess it sort of depends on the ability. If you counteract it, then there you go, I suppose. どうもこうも、破壊で終わりよ。自己修復しないよう、破壊し続ける。オンブロシオ。生物との契約を破棄する薬だったかしら。そう。ミヤコ、もう少し手をこっちに出してくれる?あ、はい。これでいいですか?
Oh, Jesus Christ. Yuki's face tenses up for some reason. Neko. Neko Zuki. Yuki to Onaji. Oh, but we know. We just know. Huh? Although she tries to feign calmness, her hand holding her teacup is trembling up a storm. She's also slightly red in the face. Oh, perfect. There we go. Now Yuki needs to meet it. Yuki needs to meet that thing immediately. Oh, perfect. Even better. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know what? That does sound familiar. You know, an orange cat in the first place. Wait, hey, the tummy is a very serious location. I think we need to go find it right now. Oh, come on. Not even Kujo has a good answer for that one, so she remains silent. Well, she's forced my hand. Time to give Yuki some special information to help cheer her up. What is with this look? Ah, しかも自分だけじゃなくて、他人にも魅了の効果を分け与えることができる。わかるか、勇気。つまり、つまり、先輩の力を使えば、猫に好かれな勇気にも猫が寄ってくるし、おまけに存分に猫を喪振りまくれ
私はそういう単純な人間九条さんからは気高い精神を感じるいわゆるノブレス・オブリージュ yeah, say you hit the nail on the head there. 持つものである自分は持たざるもののために戦わなくてはいけない It's definitely for this, you know, for this town, for this city. You know, she feels like, I don't want to say like indebted to it, but she holds a really high status here. So, in that case, I say, she will say, I'm going to be a little bit of a girl. So, I'm going to be a little bit of a girl. I'm going to be a little bit of a girl. I'm going to be a little bit of a girl. I'm going to be a little bit of a girl. I'm going to be a little bit of a girl. I'm going to be a little I preface before telling her. Before telling her my honest reasoning. We don't have any reason. I'm very surprised that this part of the memories that have been brought to him here are, you know, present. Because I remember that、uh, they didn't want,、uh, you know, Nine and Sophie any memories or feelings with any of the characters to also go with. And it makes, you know, it makes sense why we'd want that. I smile wryly. Yuki stares at me sternly without the slightest hint of a grin. That did happen. That also happened. That was fucked up. Man, no warning could have ever, you know, readied me for that fucking crazy ass scene. That's enough to break a man. その記憶を別の枝の俺が今の俺の中にぶち込んだ<笑>いい迷惑だおかげであんなの二度とごめんだって誰かが死ぬところをもう見たくない俺が戦う理由はそれだけだたったそれだけ bit of a selfish reason but Can you blame the guy for fighting for this reason? For fighting to save his friends? To never see that shit go down again? Look at Steins Gate. I don't want to, you know, give away big spoilers, but Okabe, he's not a fucking, you know, hero of justice whatsoever. He's a self proclaimed mad scientist, this, that, the other. But he does a lot of what he does because his friends are affected, you know? I'm sure that if he found out what was really going on and his friends weren't affected by it, He'd probably stick with it. Probably, you know, fuck around and find out with a few other things, but he did what he did because his friends were involved. And at the end of the day, he saved the day because, well, again, his friends were involved. Here we are, very similar situation, just a little bit more direct. We've, we've seen some shit. <laughs> Hopefully, this does not ruin our impression that she has of us, but hopefully, it creates a good one or it improves whatever impression that she has of us because it's showing we're showing her that we trust her enough to actually tell her. If she, you know, asks out of curiosity, we're being very honest. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. あなたのおかげでやっと私の物語が動き出したそれじゃああ,ああそれじゃ What an odd character she is I stare at Yuki as she walks off into the distance Her tail, huh? Now that there Now that there's been an irregularity I don't have the slightest idea of what will happen from here on out Yeah, whole new story that we have waiting for us here. We've still got some things we gotta put into motion, but yeah, this is a whole new branch, totally separate from the previous three. But I'll make it through this. I'm going to ensure that our tales have a happy ending Yuki's, mine, and everyone else's. 
We'll fight victorious as a team. I fucking hope so. I'm too spent to go out uh, somewhere to eat, so I sadly munch away at a pre-made meal that I bought at the convenience store. Nothing wrong with that. And that's when my phone starts to vibrate. An unknown number shows up on the display. I answer the phone as I guess the caller. Hello, Takamine. Hi. Kimi ga Nimi kakeru kun, kana? Yes, sir. I knew it. It's Takamine. It seems that Yuichi already put in a good word for me. Takamine. Ah, uh, senpai desu ne. I almost slip up and talk to him in the same way as my memory from another branch. So I scramble to correct myself. I've really got to be careful. If I leave him with a bad or disrespectful first impression, everything is going to fall through. Yoichi kara watashi to hanashitagatte iru to kiita no da ga. Eto, doko made kiita imasu ka? Nimi kakeru toyu otoko ga watashi to hanashitagatte iru. Wow, just straight to the point then. Watashi ga Yoichi kara kiita subete da. Nothing extra there. Maji ka yo. Damn it, I get Yuichi doesn't want to be bothered, but he could, you know, have at least told him a little bit more than that. Uh, Takamine is the quick to comprehend type like Yuki, or at least I think he is. I think foregoing an explanation from the top and just listing off the facts would probably be the best way to go about this. Yep, and everybody will forget about it in a few days. Yep, that exact terminology from the anime. So this. Just like I guessed, that seems to have gotten through to him. Then again, he might be thinking that this is some extension of the role-playing forum, and I'm using the mysterious fire as a plot point and a callback to the anime. At any rate, I should keep going before Takamine starts to question things. Yeah, something like that, to some sort of extent. Oh yeah? Oh. Well, what are you thinking here? What are you thinking here, Takamine? Oh my god, no. no. Oh no. Uh, you know, something tells me that we've gotten our wires crossed. But, uh, I guess this is fine? That aside, I should get into the main subject now. <笑>これほど高揚したことが過去にあっただろうか。たぎる。たぎるぞ。ついにこの日が。耳かけるよ。ああ。嫌です。うん。<笑> I swear, if he actually does come up with the same <laughs> fucking name, if he came up with the same name that he did in episode 3, it would make no fucking sense, but it would be pretty funny. Betrayer, wasn't it? I very clearly said no, though. This guy's mental fortitude is just as insane as Yuichi's. Albeit in different aspects. で、あの、本題なんですけど。敬語などやめたまえ。私たちはもう仲間だろう。楽に話してくれ。じゃあ、遠慮なく。同じクラスに高坂春香って人いるよな。もしかして彼女が君の仲間なのか？Well, hopeful friend to be. え、いや。Huh? I thought that these two knew of each other through the website. So why is he? Oh, that's it. It's too early. Senpai posting her message to the forum happens later. I should have realized something was up when Takamine didn't know about artifacts or users from earlier. Which means that Kosuka Senpai doesn't know that Takamine is commander from the site yet either. Ah, uh, yeah. 
ちょっと勘違いがあって高峰に高坂先輩を紹介してもらおうと思ってたんだけど私に話したことなどないぞ。Well, let's hop to it. だ、And good luck だよな that, actually. でも話したことはあるんだよ、サイトで。サイトそう、確か、エデンの女王、そんな名前の常連いるだろう。彼女エデンの女王が、高坂先輩。Yeah, sorry to do the big reveal over the phone, but yeah, here you go. Nanto Masaka Mijikani Doko no Shiga Itatoa. Honestly, the majority of the users here go to the same fucking school. There's a lot of people right under your nose. Shikash, Nimi Kakerio. Nande Maika Furune Manda. Honin no Kyokanaku Sujo Akasnoa, Itada Kenaina. Muho Chitai to Moregatina Netto no Sekaini. Lulu are Sorewa Hontoari. 本人にもちゃんと謝るでもどうしても俺は高坂先輩を仲間に引き入れなくちゃいけない And by our, I mean not that rig veda shit Oh, we mean the other hour 初対面でズーズーしいとは思うけど力を貸してくれないかふむ<笑>本命は私ではなく No, we're after you too 悪い最短で知り合うためには高峰を頼るしかなかった<笑>気にするないいだろう。手を貸そう。You are strangely cooperative. ありがとう。助かる。高坂くんと話したことはないが、エデンの女王とはメールで何とかやり取りしている。マナー違反ではあるが、こちらの素性を明かそう。君から聞いたことを話せば、きっと乗ってくるだろう。その後はどうする君の連絡先を教えればいいかああ、いや。Kosika Senpai is pretty introverted, and not counting Takamine, since their interactions are or were all web based, I doubt that she would be eager to go contacting some random boy, i.e., me. I say that, but I'd be pretty nervous about contacting her first myself. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be a b h a s it been worthwhile? I'm not going to be able to do that. そう言ってもらえると助かるよ。それじゃあまた明日。ああ、また明日。良い夜を。良いよ。ああ、うん。This man's way of speaking, again, is very similar to Yuki's. They. they are something. And it's hard to say. I. I. I don't know. Like, can we assume that he's just role playing and he hasn't received an artifact? Because I think we're under the assumption that he got his artifact from Ghost. Through the connection of Yoichi, but that's obviously not going to happen this time around. So, can we assume that that's how he got his abilities, or did he get them, you know, by chance, randomly, like the rest of us? I don't know, because he took that call very nonchalantly, accepted everything, fully understood, but I have some doubts. I end the call and place my phone on the table. Because He also had the,、uh, the stigma on his eye. So, did that mean that he also got a chunk of the evil eye? And then he also had some other stuff going on, too. I don't remember. Oh well. I've managed to befriend Takamine without having to fight him. Kosuka Senpai should be all about these kinds of topics. I'm sure she'll take the bite and she'll likely respond favorably. That I doubt, but, well, for the most part, I have cleared my objective of assembling a party. Now it's a matter of when we'll be ready to fight Iris. She seemed to show herself to me today as a means of checking whether I knew about her or not. So she's probably on guard. There's a high chance that she's hiding somewhere out there, too. We've got to nab Iris before she can probably synchronize with Miss Narase, or properly. Not probably. Wait a second. I've been assuming that we have to fight Iris synchronized with Miss Narase, but is that necessary? Could we just fight her in that plushy, illusory body? Yuki could target Iris that way. Sophie, you're here. I'm going to talk to you. And with this conversation that they're about to go on to for who knows how long, we will probably wrap it up here. As soon as I call her, space distorts. What? Sophie, you're going to be able to talk to the people of the world. If you're going to be able to talk to the people of the world. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just wrap it up here. No idea how long these conversations tend to go. As I've said before, they can go on, you know, maybe for a few minutes, 10 minutes, who knows? 
but rather, you know, rather best to play it safe. Let's check our timeline here. All right, here we are in this one. We've done the stakeout. We've met Yuki. We are proceeding in a very different way here, aren't we? This is wacky and wild. Can we assume that each of these tiles here is a single day? And that's why there's like some gaps here? Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe they just have to squeeze in more here, which is why they spread this out. I, I think they're trying to keep things a little bit like in sync with uh, how much time has passed. Could be wrong. I don't know. Either way, we're still very high up here, which is totally fine. And this lovely brand new branch over here, which is, again, totally, totally different from all the others, which is super exciting. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz, and I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.